So today we're going to use scale drawings and we will use the lesson that we learned before, ratio and proportion. So scale drawings, it is a representation of an actual object. See that? So the drawing is a representation of the real drawing of Winnie the Pooh. Or you have a real horse, you have to draw it into a representation, which is a drawing in a paper. Okay, when you draw things, it should be in a proportion. So every time you see scale drawings, you will, they will give you a scale. A scale is like a ratio or a fraction usually written on the corner of a drawing. So it's telling you here, 1 is to 10. For meaning, for every measurement of 1 in that drawing is 10 times in real life. There you go. That is called the scale. And it tells you whether the image is en reduced or enlarged. And it is the dimension of the scale. Now, to reduce, for example, a big house, was reduced into a blueprint, right? You cannot draw an exact measurement of a house in a paper. So what do they do? They reduce the size. For example, one meter of the real house, take note, one meter of the real house is actually equivalent to two centimeters in the drawing. So bigger to smaller. Now, another one is an enlargement. How can you enlarge it, all right? For example, a drawing of an ant, okay? An ant here has a measurement in millimeters, and it is now converted into bigger, all right? For every one millimeter here, it has an equivalent measurement given in this scale. Now, let's do some problems. Ray went to visit the Great Pyramids. He learned that the base length of each triangular face is 750 feet. So the base below here is 750 feet. You see that, right? There. Now, he wants to make a scale drawing of the pyramids using the scale. This is the scale he's going to use. One inch is to 150 feet. What will be the base length of his drawing? So let's start. The base length is 750 feet. That's the face. The triangle's the face. The base is the bottom. So the base length is 750 feet. So make your proportion. Remember this? A proportion with the correct units. So let's start with the given scale. And the given scale is 1 inch is to 150 feet. Follow the units, guys. Follow the units. If we started with inches to feet, therefore on the other side, it should also be inches to feet. But we already have 750 feet, see that? Feet to feet, inches to inches. Now, our problem is, how do I convert, um, I mean, the, ne the problem is, what is the missing measurement in inches, right? So, again, what did we learn before? You, I can either look for a pattern and do cross multiply and divide. Obviously the pattern here is times what? Times five, therefore on top it's also times five, therefore one times five is five, so in the drawing it has to be five inches. The five inches represents the 750 feet in real life. The base length of ray scale drawing will be five inches. Second problem, Loretta made a scale drawing of an elephant. What is the actual length of the elephant? Remember, this is just a drawing, but the real picture of an elephant, the size of an elephant, we don't know. So let's start again with our proportion. We already know, always start with the given scale, okay? The given scale is 1 fourth inches is equal to 2 feet. And look at the drawing. The drawing shows me 1.5 inches. So I write 1.5 inches over there. Take note, it should follow the units. Inches to inches and feet to feet. The bottom will be feet. Okay, now what pattern do you see? How many one-fourths will make 1.5? Okay, so the pattern is times 6. So the bottom, we also do times 6. Therefore, 2 times 6 is 12 feet. Therefore, in real life, the actual length of the elephant 
is 12 feet. Again, it follows a proportion. See that? Times 6 below, times 6 on top. All right. For the next um, problem, the poster of Happy Campground shows that the distance between the lake and the cabins, which is what is the actual distance between the lake and the cabin. All right. Check it out. This is the lake. This is the cabin. The real distance is what we want to know. But we only know what? We only know 9 inches. Do you think it's just 9 inches like that? 9 inches like this? No. What is it in real life? Again, start with your given scale. The given scale is written there in the corner. Write down 5 inches represents 25 yards. Okay? Inches to yards. And what do I know? 9 inches. Therefore, 9 inches goes in top because it follows inches to inches and yards to yards. And the missing is the yards. Okay? We don't know how many yards. The pattern is times 9 on top. Obviously, 1 times 9. Therefore, the bottom is also nine, 5 times 9 and I get 45 yards. So what can I say? The actual distance between the lake and the cabin is 45 yards. Again, this is the use of proportion in order to solve a scale problem. Now, Drake made a scale drawing below of the lounge and the recreation center. The lounge. Okay, now check this out. Use a ruler because they didn't give any dimension. Imagine we had a ruler and we actually measured it. Check out the distance, 1 inches, 2 inches, 3 inches. What do you think? All right, so let's write it down, 4 inches, correct. So now you know the actual distance is, the, the drawing distance is 4 inches. So again, make your scale. We all know the scale that it is 1 half inch over 3. So again, my units are in place. So where do I put the 4 inches? The 4 inches goes on top or at the bottom? It goes on top. Okay, so the feet is missing. How did I know that? This is times 8 on top. Okay, therefore the bottom is also times 8. Okay, so the actual distance is 24 feet. Next, um, we we know the 24 feet, but we didn't know the the um, that's the length. Now we want to know the width. And what do you read here? We have 2.5 inches inches okay again write your ratio again we started the given scale one half over three we already know that and then put in the 2.5 inches over x again what's the pattern here how many halves we'll get 2.5 so times 5 therefore 3 times 5 is now 15 all right okay so we know the length a while ago. Now the width is 15 inches. Now, you know the length and the width. Do you think we can solve for the area now? Right. So from the drawing, we were able to know the actual measurement of the real room. And the room we, we solved a while ago. We got 15 feet. Okay, let's circle that. 15. Oh, we started with 24 feet as the length. And the width is 15. But remember... We don't just need the dimensions of the length and width. We wanted to know the area. Area is how big the whole room is. So you know length times width. So plug it in 24 times 15 and you get 360 square feet. So what can you say? The actual area, not the drawing, the actual area of the lounge is 360 square feet. Okay? Now remember, you can use ratio and proportion to solve for scale drawings. Good luck.